Hey guys, welcome to the service now what and today we'll see part 11 of scenario based interview questions in service now. As you know in this series we are discussing about the all the real time scenarios which are given by interviewer during interview or we can say that like whatever the scripting questions are there which we are getting during interview so that we are discussing in this series. So without any delay let's see today's task and then we'll try to implement in the instance. So the today, today's task is write a script to print incident callers manager's manager. So you know that we having one incident table is there, they having some records and if you open that record we having the color field as well. So whatever the color field, uh, whatever the color uh, is there, we have to print their manager's manager name. Okay, so it's like a level to manager. So let's go to the instance and try to implement it. So now we are in our instance and let's open the one incident open record, incident record okay so now we are in incident table and let's open one record okay so uh, for this uh, incident Caller is David Miller. So let me open and see what is the manager of David Miller. Miller, like who is the manager of David Miller? So I've just opened a duplicate tab. So if you see here, here we are not able to find the manager field, but we know that like manager field is in the sys user table, right? This is the sys user table. So let me go to the form layout and put in the form side, right? So go to the form layout. And from available side, type M. So we have got this manager field, right? Just drag it to the right side, to the selected side, and uh, put it uh, like uh, after title, and then click on save. Okay. So for this user, we have seen that uh, the manager is Able Tutor, and let's see who is the manager of uh, Able Tutor, right? So let me open. And for this user, if you see, the manager is Abraham Lincoln. So maybe in your case, maybe manager is not there. So you just like if manager is not there, you just update the manager for both of the labels. So in our case, we have to print the label to manager means the incident caller is David Miller and David caller manager is Able Tutor and Able Tutor manager is Abraham Lincoln that you are seeing. So we have to print this Abraham Lincoln value by using the script. So how we'll do that, that, that we'll see. So we have to go to the background script. So one of my experience is that like whenever interviews say we have to write a script, so uh, most of the time we have to write a background script only, right? So we'll just go to the background script. So this interface has opened up background script. So let's try to write the script. So where gr equal to new glide record glide record api we generally we are using for querying any table so here i want to query the incident table so incident and then i'll write any filter is there so yes one filter is there for we because we want for this particular incident right this particular incident so i'll just put data filter as well like number number is the field and it's the backend name of this field that is number and number is this okay so i'll just give number is inc triple zero nine double zero nine then we'll execute the query gr dot query and then we have to print the manager so we'll just if gr dot next because here the single record is there so we can use the if if other if it's multiple records are there we have to use the while so, okay so inside that what we'll do we'll store the value of manager in one of the variables so i'll just create one value uh, variable the uh, variable where uh, let's say i'll create like where man value equal to and here we'll write gr dot caller id 
So if you know here, like this caller ID is a reference field, right? So if you reference, so by using, if you reference, reference field means it's referencing to the sys user table. And in sys user table, we have the manager field. So we can use uh, something called one concept is there, something called like dot walk. So that we are uh, going to use it. So gr.callerid dot manager. So if we print this much value, gs.info, and I'll just print uh, man value. And let's see, I'm able to print this David Miller manager or not. And David Miller manager is able tutor. Okay. So let me see. I have run the script. So we are getting one sys ID. So we are getting sys ID because the it's a reference field. So we'll just put the uh, get display value. So it will give you the display value of that particular sys uh, record. So display value and let's run the script again. Yes. So for David Miller, the manager is able tutor, right? But the requirement we have to print the who is the manager of able tutor. So able tutor manager is Abraham Lincoln. So what I'll do, I'll just go one step back and here I'll write dot manager and simply run the script. Exactly. If you see, we are able to print the manager's manager value. That is Abraham Lincoln. So if you know, for David Miller, manager is able tutor. For able tutor, manager is Abraham Lincoln. So like that we have did. So here like interview, what, what exactly want to test? Like, are you familiar about the dot walk feature of service now or not? So if you know the dot walk, then only you can write the uh, write this kind of code. So mainly if you see like this complete code, the most important line is this. Mainly gr.callerid.manager.manager.getDisplayValue. Dot dot dot, uh, dot display value. So like that, we have to write the code. Let me explain you code one more time. We have used the glide record API for querying the table. That table is incident. We have put the filter category like number is inc 0009 then we execute the query. We have the single record. That's where we use here if gr.next. And there we have created one variable that is man value. And there we have what we have done. We have used the dot walk. Firstly, we have used, this is the field that is caller ID that is present on the present on the incident uh, incident table. And this manager we have print uh, we have we have go there by using the dot walk. We have put the dot. Then again, we are referencing to the manager. So we have viewed dot manager. So like that, you can do multi-level of referencing by using the dot work feature of service now. Okay. So I hope you got it. And if you still have any doubt, please write in the comment box. Till that time, thank you. God bless you all.